Dear my wonderful and amiable listeners, welcome to yet another interesting news. Army chiefs have said Samuel Epa is a notorious terrorist making a living in Finland, ordering people to shut down livelihoods in Nigeria. Samuel Epa on Tuesday declared a 14 day sit at home in southeast Nigeria to commence from the July 31st and end August 14th. The Chief of Staff, Major General Tori Blackbaja, has described Samuel Epa, the self proclaimed Inamdekano disciple and Prime Minister of the Afra Republic government in exile bridge, as a notorious terrorist hiding in Finland with his family. Blackbaja accused Finland based Samuel Epa on fomenting trouble in Nigeria and ordering people to shut down their businesses and livelihoods. Describing the 14 day sit at home declared by Samuel Epa as illegal, Lagbaja directed the troops of the Nigerian army to seize control of areas where the indigenous people of Biafra, IPOB, enforced their sit at home order throughout the Southeast state. Simon Epa on Tuesday declared a 14 day visit, a 14 day sit at home in Southeast Nigeria to commence from 31st of July and end on the 14th of August. Saturday, the 5th of August 2023 and Sunday, August 6, 2023, all Biafran markets will open respectively. Monday, the 7th of August 2023 to Friday, August 11, 2023, there will be total lockdown in Biafra land. Saturday, the 12th of August 2023 and Sunday, the 13th of August 2023, all Biafran markets will open. Monday, 14, August 14, 2023, there will be total lockdown in Biafra land. We hereby call on market leaders to strictly adhere to this order and treat it with utmost seriousness, he said. In a statement issued on Wednesday, Simon Epa asked Bia France in Lagos to get ready to demand the release of Inamdekano, the detained leader of the indigenous people of Biafra IPOP, by shutting down the state. He said, We are coming to Lagos after the two week long sit at home. It is time to show your, show your solidarity to call for this justice. We are friends in, log- in Lagos with will lock down. However, following the first state at home order, the chief of army staff declared the announcement as unlawful. The director, army public relations brigade, brigade general Onyema Wanchuku told the punch in the, an interview that such a directive would not be condoned. He added that the troops of the 82 division had been given the order to work with other security agencies to ensure citizens go about their business freely. Onyema said the renewed threat by the indigenous people of Biafra IPOP to compel the people in southeastern Nigeria to sit at home is not only appalling but a violation of the fundamental rights of the southeastern Nigerians and therefore unlawful and this will never be condoned. The chief of army staff had handed down clear directive to the 82 division of the Nigerian army operating in synergy with other security agencies to ensure robust patrols to dominate all flashpoints and, em- em- and employees measures to ensure citizens are free to go about their legitimate businesses. Strangely, Simon Epa, a notorious terrorist and a self le- self-acclaimed leader of the United People of Biafra, is in Finland making a living for himself and his family but ordering the people to shut down their livelihoods, their means of livelihood by sitting at home. Onyema said, we employ the good and enterprising people of the Southeast to shun all forms of conjoining or threat aimed at unlawful compelling them to be re- reclusive by sitting at home. We urge them to join forces with the security operative to resist the illegality per- perpetrated by the indigenous people of Biafra. Simon Elpa, who is a Finnish lawyer, political activist, and former athlete, he is one of the court's current leaders of the indigenous people of Biafra independence movement. He is the designated prime minister of the Biafra Republic Government in Exile organization. Simon Elpa was born on the 21st of March 1985 in Oahu local government area of Ebony State, Nigeria. Prior to his activism, he won a silver medal for Nigeria in 100 meters in the 2003 African Junior Athletics Championship in Cameroon. 
Samuel Ekwa has lived in Lati, Finland since 2007. He is a member of the National Coalition Party of Finland and was a candidate in the 2022 Finnish county elections. According to reports, Samuel Ekwa activity started to gather mainstream attention in February 2023 in Finland with calls to investigate his activities and determine if his alleged incitement fuels the legal definitions for incitement against the ethnic groups. The locals in Lati stated that they have started an internal investigation on these claims. Oji Anya Odim, who is representing the Association Igbo Union Finland, stated in, a, in the same interview that Samuel Epa should stop inciting hatred and provoking. He does not represent the Igbo people of Finland. The Nigerian government has also demanded Finland to stop Simon Epa's activities. Many live in fear in, in Nigeria of Simon Epa. Samuel Epa made, was made a lead broadcaster for Little Biafra associated, associated with the separatist organization the Indigenous People of Biafra after the arrest of political activist in Amdekan. However, Samuel Epa was not allowed to broadcast on radio citing violation of the rules of the organization. The Nigerian government has demanded Finland to stop Simon Epa activities. Many live in fear in Nigeria of Epa. It was also reported by a tra traveler that when Simon Epa has issued sit at home order involving the coming Nigeria, involving the coming Nigeria election, many in Enugu seems to eat this. Some, however, said they would go despite the stay at home orders. In late February 2023, it was reported that Simon Epa is being suspected of having raised funds in an illegal manner by the Finnish National Bureau of, in of Investigation. On the 25th of May 2023, at the African Day celebration in Finland, the Universal Peace Federation awarded Simon Epa Ambassador for Peace. As of 2023, Simon Epa has been called the Prime Minister of the Biafra Republic government in exile. It has been heard on different articles referred him to both as the Prime Minister and self-acclaimed Prime Minister. Simon Epa stated in 2023 that Biafra Republic government in exile is registered, approved, and legal. Agents of Nigeria should take note. In December 2022, he ordered a five day sit at home civil disobedience in southeast and some parts of the south south Nigeria from the 9th to 14th of December. On the 14th of June 2023, Simon Epa announced a long, week sit, a long week sit at home from the 3rd of July to the 10th of July 2023. That will be all for now. Please don't forget to click on the like and subscribe button. Let us know your thoughts and your opinion via the comment section below. And I will see you on the next news. Bye for now.